Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins and in this episode we are going to continue to fare out the bottom of the keel. We're just about to a point where we've got it all sealed up and thinking about putting some paint on it, uh, get it matched up with the rest of the hull. We still got a little bit of uh, smoothing out, sanding, that sort of thing to do. But in this particular episode, I'm gonna spend some time working on where the keel bolts exit at the very bottom. And one of the problems we had was that some of the keel bolts, especially uh, behind the centerboard trunk that went through the dead wood, those we weren't able to countersink the holes for because we couldn't drill them until the bolt was right side up and the dead wood was on. And as a result, uh, they just weren't countersunk. And we had it on the cart and there was nothing we could do about it. Now that we've got it blocked up like we do, uh, we've got very easy access to the bottom and it gives us the opportunity to go ahead and just really get it right. So um, I didn't really expect that we'd be doing another episode about the bottom, but now that we do have it blocked up and with such easy access to getting it right, we are getting it right. So anyway, we're glad you're back. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Uh, this series is ongoing and we still have a lot of finish work to do. You may be able to see that we've got some of the sanding done and getting ready to do some varnish work. Uh, we still got to get the masts and, and spars finished, they're all uh, hewn out, and they're sanded down and ready to, ready to be finished. Uh, so that's still coming. Uh, you may have seen a little deal we put up on Jenkins Boatworks on Facebook uh, about the sales, and we got those sewed. Uh, there was just a little maybe two minute deal. We, I laid them out out in the yard with some nice weather we had this week and just took some pictures and some video. So, you might check that out on Facebook. If you haven't liked Jenkins Boat Works on Facebook, do that. I would also invite you to like the Haven 12 and a half group. Uh, just click on there to join. There's a couple of questions to answer, but we'll let you in. And uh, so that's that's kind of a fun group. There's other Haven builders on that, on that uh, group on Facebook. So you might check that out too. But anyway, enough about all that. Let's jump in and See how we finish out the bottom of the keel. So, when we last left, we were trying to get the keel straightened out. Now we're up here at the bow, and what I was thinking was to get the forefoot straightened out, which it is, and over on the port side, we were putting in that extra epoxy, the total boat five to one, to get that fared out going into the lead. Now we haven't sanded it or anything. It's had several days, a week or better to set up. So we're good with that. But we still need to do some work on the very bottom of the lead. So, as we come around here, you can see that we've got the side of the lead uh, really cleaned up pretty good. And there's a coat of epoxy over all of that, including the thickened part up forward there. Now, the other thing I have to do is fix the keel bolts. And even here at a side view, especially back here in the back, I think you can see, see those bolts are too long. They're sticking out down past the bottom. See that one past the jack stand there, just under the dead wood? And then just up here in front of the bricks, there's another one sticking down there. We'll shut this off for a second and get under there. We had to sort of countersink some of the area around there, and I did it without taking the, the bolts out. 
but let's get under there and I'll tell you more. We're back. That. We are now underneath the after part of the boat, uh, just right by the dead wood here. These uh, bricks are the after part of the support. You can see that hole up there. That's the, the after end of the centerboard slot. And then these two keel bolts are what I was talking about uh, when we were looking at it from the side angle. And we had, I had taken a flat blade screwdriver and a small chisel and basically just come up in here and clean this out. And I did it with the, well, I took the nuts off, but I did it with the bolt in here because I didn't want to just push it all the way back up in there um, for several reasons. It's, it's in there really good. And uh, I just felt like it might tear up the inside or might be hard to get it back down through here. Anytime you're taking it out and pushing it down, you run the risk of increasing the size of the, of the hole that it's coming through, which could create more uh, possibility for water leak. And there just was a bunch of reasons why I didn't want to do that. So I was able to uh, take the, like I said, a little chisel and um, get, the, get it out of there to a point where now this nut is flush against the bottom but of course the, the, the bolt part's sticking out. Um, so I need to cut that off, but then I started thinking about it. I was like, well, it wouldn't take very much for that nut to come off of there. Um, and of course I can put some Loctite on it, but um, had one of those moments in the middle of the night where I was like, just buy some locking nuts, which I just did. I got them on the way home tonight. So let's see if we can get this out of here. It might be tightening. Which way is it going? There, that's undone it. You gotta think backwards when you're upside down. Pretty tight. Okay, so I bought these locking washers and they got a different size. Yeah, that, I had to go get the 11 sixteenths, but the, the ones I bought are 5 eighths. Well, I hope they thread on there. I'm gonna feel kind of dumb if I bought the wrong one. Anyway, I got these ones that got the, the little neoprene in the end of them. So those should go on there and lock on there. So just let's make sure they fit on here first. Yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. Part of what I'm thinking is I just wanna make sure that um, they're gonna go in there. No, I didn't change the socket. Yeah. Okay, and tighten. Okay, that's gonna work. Now, I don't wanna get that on there too tight because, you know, it's got this, it's, it's a locking one, I will do that. So, anyway, that's what we're gonna do, get those sealed up and then, um, they, are, they are galvanized uh, bolt, so we should be okay on that and we're gonna be in fresh water, but even so, um, the next owner of the boat would probably hate me, but I'm gonna cover all this whole bottom, and this is actually kind of rough right here. I'm gonna fill this all in with more of that thickened epoxy and smooth this out, and I'm just gonna cover these, I'm gonna cover these nuts in the process of doing that. So we'll do that, and then we'll cut the ends off, and um, we should be in pretty good shape for being done with the bottom, short of just sanding it and getting a little paint on it. You know, <laughs> I watched Bob Emser on the art of boat building and he just flipped his boat 
and he left it hanging in the air for a long time, and he got a bunch of comments from people wondering if he should have been working underneath the boat. This is a little nerve-wracking, but she's blocked up good, and I've got the straps on here on the gantries as well, so she's really double supported. And um, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not scared of it. It's good. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm changing out these two forward keel bolts here that are on. Uh, I believe this is frame 12, and uh, uh, either side of the centerboard slot. out of here. edge on them, but they're not the neoprene ones. But then these are a different size. I mean, they, they fit on the uh, 7 16 bolt, which is what these are, but they're, they're just smaller for a different socket size. Okay. So I gotta keep changing this socket. with the bottom of the keel, so that's good. I believe that's good. Love these new DeWalt goggles. They're awesome. Okay, got some more thickened epoxy. Uh, this is the five to one total boat. We're coming up underneath the keel here because uh, quite honestly, when we poured this keel, um, it, for whatever reason, it just didn't sit level in the top of the mold, and it's just rough right in here, and this is this one keel bolt, and we're going to uh, fill in around that, fill in here, and you really can't see this dip that's in here, uh, but it's probably quarter inch, maybe, from the edges in, so up in here, and then there's this other keel bolt back here. Uh, we've got epoxy on the sides, sealed, same thing on this side, and uh, 
So anyway, I've got a bunch mixed up and it's really thick. It's not going anywhere. I'm just gonna put it on here. Try to smooth this out. Well, that's nice, dropped it on the floor. I tried to get it as thick as I could because I know it's gotta hang on here upside down, so. I'm actually putting this up in here where the, where the uh, bolt is and just sealing that whole thing up. We're not, uh, we're not taking any chance with that bolt leaking. I don't ever expect to have to change these bolts. Somebody 50 years from now might need to do that, but it ain't gonna be me. So they can hate on me when that happens. Here it's pretty pretty flush, it's not smooth, so we're just gonna put some on there and just kind of smooth that on there. Let that fill in the dips. Let me have to take a couple of cracks at this because there really is quite a bit I'm trying to fill in under here. I want this to be able to ride on the trailer nice and smooth and launch on and off. And, uh, and ride smooth when we're in the water. I don't need it collecting plant life or anything like that. I thought to mix up two batch of this, batches of this, and I'm glad I didn't. Uh, it's gonna be enough back here, at least for, for one application. That's gonna be pretty good. Man. You know what, I'm gonna scoop that up off the floor here because the floor's pretty clean. I've got all this silica mixed in here anyway, even if there was a teeny bit of dirt or something on the floor, it wouldn't hurt anything. That's good. Actually, that's looking pretty good. Lines up with these little strings hanging down and then when they dry i've noticed it on the sides um, they're real sharp they're real pointy if you if you touch it just wrong it'll it'll stick you it's kind of weird stuff boy i really do have just a good amount here that I mixed up. It'd be better to mix up another batch and come back at this within 24 hours and just put the next part on there. Um, you can't, you can't fill in too much all at once. It just you can't do it, it just won't work. Better to uh, take smaller bites at it. And I'm getting to that point right now where I need to know to quit. Uh, we're good enough. Yeah. If I didn't do anything else to it, it'd be 100% better. It's good. We're spending an awful lot of time on this keel and uh, 
We haven't done much video lately and it's just because some of it's kind of boring and nobody want to watch somebody sand for hours or anything like that, but um, it's coming, it's coming. We're no longer in a rush now. We're not trying to get in the water. I felt like the whole summer we were trying to get in the water and, and um, it's better when you're not rushing. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.